Hi there. Today we're going to learn about two important types of images used in graphic design, vector images and raster images. Understanding the difference between these two is crucial for working with promotional products. So let's dive in. Let's start with vector images. Vector images are made up of points defined by mathematical equations. These points can be used to assemble simple lines, curves, and shapes, just like this set of pins guiding the rubber band. The beauty of vector images is that they are resolution independent. You can scale them up or down to any size without losing quality. Whether it's a tiny icon or huge billboard, a vector image will always look crisp and clear. This makes vector images ideal for logos, icons, and any graphic designs that need to be resized frequently. Common file formats for vector images include SVG, AI for Adobe Illustrator, PDF, and EPS. Here at Barker, we provide a recreation service to create a vector file from your image or logo. Now let's talk about raster images. Unlike vector images, raster images are made up of a grid of individual pixels, where each pixel has its own color. You can think of it like a mosaic where each small tile represents a pixel. Common file formats for raster images include JPEG, PNG, GIF, and BMP. Raster images are great for complex images with lots of details and color gradients, like photographs. However, there's a catch. When you enlarge a raster image, it can become pixelated or blurry because you're stretching those individual pixels. For example, imagine zooming in on a digital photo. At some point, you'll start to see the individual squares of color. That's pixelation and it's a common issue with raster images. As we separate the puzzle pieces, they get further apart and distort the image. There isn't enough data to fill the gaps. Let's summarize the key differences. Composition, raster, made of pixels. Vector, made of paths and shapes. Best for raster, photographs and detailed images, Vector, logos, icons, and scannable graphics. Scalability. Raster loses quality when scaled up. Vector retains quality at any size. File formats. Raster, JPEG, PNG, GIF. Vector, SVG, AI, EPS. So when you're deciding between raster and vector, think about the project requirements. For detailed images and rich color gradations, go with raster. For graphics that need to be scaled or manipulated frequently, vector is the way to go. That's it for this Barker lesson on raster and vector images. I hope this clears up the differences and helps you choose the right type of image when providing materials for your next project. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your sales representative. Thanks for joining and happy designing.